<laughs> you know how many times we've said, how come these people debut and they go 50-50 with these nerds? Right. Okay, well, you know, mm-hmm. that did not happen here. Don't so worry. the Jacksons are in the ring, and Okada, he just he just wants to tag immediately. And so he gets in the ring, and uh, the first nerd comes out, and he gets obliterated by Okada. Then the second nerd comes out, and he gets obliterated by Okada. Then the third nerd comes out, and he gets obliterated by Okada. He gets hit with the Rainmaker, and he gets pinned. I was like, this is the best match I've ever seen. <laughs> the Young Bucks are on the apron. Let, let me... Making six figures, standing there watching this guy hit a rainmaker on three Good nerds. For them. Good I was for like, them. this is the best job anyone could possibly have right here. All right. I was not a fan of debuting Okada as a surprise. I was not a fan of the heel turn. I was not a fan of the way they announced his match on Rampage. A surprise <laughs> debut as a full timer. I was not a fan that his first match, the the entrance is total comedy. The Bucks are a complete joke now. And that's not that's not a bad thing for them, but this is Okada. But uh and the bell rings. My God! <laughs> Five star squash. Yeah. And I, I've seen, I've only seen Okada do great big show main events, or occasionally like trios or tags or ten men or whatever. I've never seen Okada do a squash before. I want to see Okada do a thousand squashes. I don't want Okada in a competitive match the rest of this year. Just slaughter geeks. You know the thing about Okada is, uh, if you watch, it would be a good example. I'll just say, uh, you know, Ishii maybe or somebody like that. It's like on these New Japan shows, you know, you'll have your your big main event on a certain day. But on the other shows, you'll be in some rando six man or whatever. And that's when the guys, for the most part, you know, I'm sure Osprey would be an exception and and, uh, Ishii, guys like that, Shingo, they'll work their ass off no matter what. But Okada was not a guy who was embarrassed to take it easy on those days. Like, he's okay getting in there and doing jack shit. Right, yes. And uh, and he got in there and he did jack shit here and uh, made a shit ton of money for it and probably was so happy when the night was over. So God bless the guy. He deserves it. I loved it. Everyone was so happy to see him. They cheered for every single move. Um, yeah. He still has the best drop kick in the biz. Oh. Um, it was beautiful. beautiful. A thing of beauty. I loved it. He looked really happy, and the crowd, the people that were there, were going absolutely nuts for him. Yeah, you mentioned the uh, the cheering. Uh, this guy is supposed to be a heel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well. One one man beat up five, as it turns out, by the time the segment was over, and then everyone chanted his name like he's the biggest baby face, which is what <laughs> happens when you beat up five men alone. Well, that's what happened because uh, Eddie Kingston tried to attack. He got his ass kicked. Penta said he beat up the Bucks. But Okada killed a uh, Penta. Him and, him and Eddie. Well, he, Eddie was. It, it took three of them to beat up Eddie, or at least it, it was three of them beating him up. He he killed Penta by himself, and you've never seen a man look so indignant about having to lay hands on another man. He, he he beat him up like it was so easy. He's insulted that it is something he had to do. But then he sees that belt, and a big giant smile goes over the Rainmaker's face, and Pac interrupts. And he destroys the Bucks. And I wrote he stares down Okada, but really he st- stared way, way up at Okada. Yeah. And then Pac won the brawl, because after all, Okada is a heel now. And the Bucks dragged Okada away. It was like a month's worth of angles all at once. But uh, they did set up a trio's match for Dynamite, which was announced, and I assume they're saving Okada and Kingston for Dynasty. So, fine. I don't know what uh, why, pa- why uh, Pac was out for so long, but uh, he has dropped a lot of weight. I mean, he's still in great shape. Still all jacked up, abs, but he looked a lot lighter in this uh, in this return here. But the place went nuts for that guy too. I had no idea that Penta had hit the ring. He was wearing yeah, in his street clothes street, and uh, and and, a, and a, not a not his traditional mask. No, he was wearing like the Venom mask, and I was confused. I thought it was Serpentico. Yes, that was. <laughs> All right, Jay White, Darby Allen, video package for Big Business on Wednesday. Mariah May versus Trish Adora. Mariah now is just full-time old Tony Storm gimmick. As she should be. She <laughs> pulls it off so good. He went back and forth all the time. There's a commercial break in the middle. The crowd is chanting for Tony Storm, who was not in the match. Yeah. They do some stuff. Mariah wins the May Day. Dude, this Trish Adora. It's another one. She looked better than Mariah. Yeah. Trish Adora is, is so good. And she hit a... I have never seen this in my life. She hit a fucking German from her knees. Yeah. What? That's awesome. She pulled it off, 
was awesome. And uh, and when this was over, I thought, did uh, Trish get that big win yet? I forget. Yeah. Was on a show I didn't watch? So I went back to check, and in fact, uh, we're now going on five months. Trish Adora has not got that big win. So hopefully by 2028, she'll have gotten that uh, that big one. That's my hope. <sighs> Man, it's brutal. Like, it seems like all these women that face Mariah are excellent, and a lot of them are outshining her somehow. Mm -hmm. I don't know why this keeps happening over and over. Um, I don't know. I like Mariah, but Trisha Dora, she looked great to me. Um, Mariah does look incredible as Tony Storm. The crowd was chanting phony Storm at her, which I thought was Oh, is that what it was? That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's better. Okay. (laughs) Yeah, that was good. Okay. That's a better chant then. Then yeah, this next segment, we were yeah. talking about dynamite and, and and people that were made to look like total geeks. So Tony and Luther come out, and Tony says here to prevent the uh, present the first ever Tony Award with an eye, so we don't get sued. She says the nominees for the performance of Tony Storm are Mariah May, and the winner is Mariah May. So Mariah won an award that she was the only nominee of. But that's not the issue. So she's all happy. And uh, Deanna runs down to the ring. She grabs the award mm-hmm. out of Tony's hand. It is a shoe. And uh, Mariah proceeds to beat her ass, <laughs> give her a DDT on the ramp. Tony then gives the shoe back to Mariah and the fans chant, you deserve it, to Mariah May. So the Tony Award for the biggest geek in the women's division, unfortunately, goes to poor Diana Parazzo. You're not wrong. They had no sympathy for her whatsoever. How dare you interrupt? You deserve getting hit with that shoe. And, uh, and fake Tony Storm, phony Storm, you deserve that shoe. This is not the and way they're all heels. A, this is not the way you build a baby face. No, this is horrible. They really dropped the ball with her. Well, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I guess. But they, I think they also got the only ever planned to have her do one ma- match, and they did it. Now they don't care. I think you're right, Vinny. It just seemed weird. Like, are they turning her heel, interrupting the Tony Award? Like, everyone was so happy to it see could Tony be Storm. Actually, yeah. I mean, she yeah. should be a heel. But, I mean, Tony and, and Mariah are still heels. So it's hard to turn a heel on a heel, especially when they like the other heel more than they like you. Unless she joins the faction. I guess. I guess. I don't know. But which one, you know? The Tonys. The, yeah, the, the, oh, the Tonys. Tonys. Yeah, yeah, She could take uh, Luther's spot. I don't know. <laughs> the butler. 1950 pop culture quiz. The blank moved from New York to... San Francisco in Giants. 1957. Holy sh... <laughs> a sports question? A sports ball question. Brian got it right. Do you know what sport? Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> the blank corporation introduced jute boxes that could play 45 MP. RCA. Wait a minute. I got to see if I have the answer. Hound cl- dog. <laughs> no, that's the wrong question. Hound dog. It's an Elvis Presley song. <laughs> Five. <laughs> Thank God we did this. <laughs> well, what's the answer? What was the question? <laughs> hey, guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button, and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show. All of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.